Hello everyone, this is Lorraine, and today I'm coming to you with my next nail polish review. And um, both of the polishes that I'm reviewing today are by Nana Coco. One, this one is a bright pink, pink jelly formula, and this is called Hot Pink Vibe. The next one is this metallic silver, and this one is called Cyber Love. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So I'm going to first do the pink color and I'm going to apply that as my accent color on my ring and pinky fingers. So as usual, I am capping the free edge. This will help with um, the wear and longevity of your polish because when it chips, it starts at the edge and if you don't have something there, it will automatically start chipping on the actual nail bed instead of just on the tip of the nail. And it's very it's also important to do that with every layer <clears throat> as well as making sure your top coat if nothing else is you you, you cap the free edge with your top coat so again I really do like this brush it is nice and wide it fans out pretty well and this formula is as great as the orange one that I did um, a few weeks ago so I am really really pleased with this I was hoping that it would be as the formula would be as good as the orange one so this is one coat excuse me one coat of the hot pink vibe nice and um, not extremely opaque but it is a jelly so with the jelly formulas you're not going to be a hundred percent opaque especially not on your first coat but overall I am extremely pleased with this one just as much as I was with the I believe it's the techno orange also the brush helps with a nice smooth line at the cuticle so I'm extremely happy with the result of this one so I'm going to go ahead and do paint one nail of um, with Cyber Love and this one is a fairly thick polish I'm hoping this one will be a one coater since this is going to be the predominant color and I'm actually going to try to stamp with Cyber Love since it is a very thick formula this should work Okay, and this one also has a nice wide brush, fans out really nicely, and gets a nice line at the cuticle. And it is nicely, nice and opaque, but I'm having, doing the same thing I did before with putting too much pressure as I get toward the tip of my nail which causes um, it to get a little bit sheer down there so I'm trying to fix that because I really don't want to do too many coats because it is a fairly big polish so that's what that looks like so this is kind of like two coats of this one but <clears throat> fairly opaque um, would be opaque in one coat if depending upon how you apply your technique for applying the polish. So, oops, sorry, I am out of frame. But this is just how I do my cleanup. It's easier with a brush, and unfortunately, 
the I've been trying a different remover this OPI one just to see because I was running out of the other one and it's pretty much eaten away at the adhesive which is causing when I put pressure as you can see my brush is getting pushed back in and I'm upset because this is the brush that I just bought from um, Ulta so I am have to switch brushes but overall I'm very pleased with the color payout of these two polishes so um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest off camera and come back. Okay, so I'm back and this is the um, and final result of just the polish application. I have applied two coats of the Hot Pink Vibe and just one coat of Cyber Love. And it's very silver sparkly. You can see like the light bouncing off of it as I move my thumb. So very pleased with the color payout on both of these. Um, so, and again, both formulas are really great. This one, if you do get it on your skin, cleanup is a little bit more difficult than normal polishes are. Um, so you probably, like I didn't use acetone remover to clean up. I was using the... OPI um, Expert Touch Polish Remover to clean up, and it's a fast acting moisturizing um, um, remover. So I probably you I probably would have gotten better and easier results if I had to use just the pure acetone. But I didn't want to leave the you know ashiness around my cuticles because some of them are pretty dry right now. So. Again, but and then this one, great for, formula, just like the Techno Orange that I used by Nana Coco, the same formula, um, just really great, goes on great. Um, I can't say enough positive things about this. Um, I really need to get, um, I believe there are, are six neon colors, and currently I have the pink, the orange, and the yellow, and I believe there's a green and there's another color so I would like to finish the set and I do believe that the brush the brushes I really like them a brush can make or break a formula in my opinion you can have a great formula but a horrible brush and it will totally ruin the application but <clears throat> both of these apply very well this one's much thicker um, it is um, but you can get away with one coat because it is so um, thick and it does have you can slightly see the brush strokes in this um, at first, but then once it settles, they kind of go away. Um, but I'm very pleased with both polishes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, start doing my stamping. So be looking out for the stamping video. Again, this is the end results. Two coats of... Um, hot pink vibe because it is a jelly formula and one coat of cyber love so if you have um, Nana Coco in your area you should check them out they're very reasonable in price I want to say under four dollars I'm, I'm very sure it was under four but I'm not sure if it was two ninety nine or three fifty I mean it might vary depending on where you get it but if you are in like the Cincinnati Ohio or the tri-state area and you have found it please let me know because I would love to be able to go buy some more of their nail polishes so thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye